Kalahalalim la Yahweh Bahasham shall Yahweh shine, which is Hebrew for all praises to the Most High Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called Jah, Jehovah, etc. In the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect, a hopeful elect that is pushing the word in righteousness and sincerity and in truth. The 144,000 men, the elect men, women, and children, as doing the will of the Father, his commandments in faith and in truth. I was looking at this video here. I was looking for another video from a brother and the you know, spirit led me to this it says uh, Trump and Figgy burns in Karakai after inflammatory tweet uh, let me just play the clip <laughs> Yeah, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem you know, the most high stern of the spirit of these so-called um, presidents or whatever, but the scriptures refer to them as princes or captains or rulers and so forth. All right, he's stirring them up to go against their prince, their ruler. Like, just like, um, you know, how Darius ruled the 120 provinces in the book of Esther and the book of um, Ezra. All right, you know, he, he's ruling these provinces. All right, so let's go to the tweet. And I'll you know, confirm that and then I'll go to some scriptures. Uh, this is his tweet. United States has foolishly given Pakistan more than $33 billion in aid over the last 15 years. And have, and they have given us nothing but lies and deceit. Thinking of your leaders as fools. They, they give safe haven to terrorists. We hunt in Afghanistan with little help. No more! Exclamation mark. All right, so he's trying to insinuate, you know, and so forth. So he's trying to insinuate that, you know, they've they've done so, but both of these nations are wicked. So what do you expect? But he's just pulling out these funds so that he can prepare through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, of course, prepare to um, start the first, uh, the third world war, Slakia. So let's go to uh, Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for these things must come to pa must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, these prophecies are already unfolding. You know, Apostle Tahar already um, you know deemed this year the year of prophecy. So let let let's see the prophecies unfold back to back. You know, one will not one will not miss or anything like that. Or will not tarry. Verse seven: For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So this is going to lead to famine in, in Pakistan. It's going to lead to pestilence. It's going to lead to a lot of things. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. So let's go to uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So Esau is in, in rulership right now. So that's why these people are mourning and rebelling. That's why he's complaining. So that he can fund his war so that they can get more power i'm i'm ushering the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip or the nfc nfc chip um martial law and so forth but you know two-thirds of our people the so-called negroes um, amerindians native americans latinos hispanics confusion of faces those are israelites who look like other nations but they have the israelite spirit you know and they want to believe in this word you know um they're israelites this is 2nd Ezra's 
15 verse 16 for there shall be sedition among men Slakia. verse 14 to the world and to them that dwell herein for sword and destruction draweth nigh and the people and one people shall stand up on stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand all right that's what we're about to see and for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power so they won't regard their kings and princes because now trump is a king to them he's a prince to them you know and the course of their actions shall stand in their power so that's what they're going to do that's their actions burning these things uh, where am i Oh, there it is a man shall desire to go into city and shall not be able to soon they're going to block all the cities and so forth soon they're going to rebel and so forth in different areas of the world you now most i will is this year for because they because of their pride the cities shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid you know just today our brother was asking what's going to happen in the last days and he think he all good he thinking that um once you repent on the last day, last day, the most I can forgive. It's like, no, my brother, don't walk, sir. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and great tribulation. All right, verse 20. Because saith Mosai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Lebanon, and Lebanus, to turn themselves against another and repay the things that they have done to them. So they're gonna turn on one another, as the most I say here, right here. Um, like as they do, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also, and recompense in their bosom, saith Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahawashai. All right, just as they did to the so called Israelites, that's what he's going to do to these wicked nations. All right, verse 22 My right hand shall not spare the sinners of the sinners, my sword shall not cease over them and over them that shed innocent blood over the earth. All right, so with that, you know, just a quick hit. You know, just want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, to all my brothers, all the sisters, all the children. Just stay focused, stay locked in the spirit, stay in the spirit, and keep meditating in the word. Shalom. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And they all come in unison with Yahweh Shai.